than 0.5% alcohol by volume. This is brewed in, uh, I believe they have two places in the U.S. Um, I think San Diego and maybe up in the East Coast somewhere. But this, uh, where is it? Uh, it's all French. Uh, in, this is imported by uh, Athletic Brewing Company Canada out of Vancouver, made in the USA. So this is fermented from grains continuing, uh, continuing, containing gluten and crafted to remove gluten. Hmm. So the gluten content of this product cannot be verified and this product may contain gluten. So if you're looking for a non-gluten one, this probably is not the one for you. I see yeast there. So they must do something to uh, remove, crafted to remove gluten. Hmm. All right. Uh, but yeah, this is an upside down. They uh, they call it a gold nail kind of uh, a brew. Uh, I believe it has some kind of Vienna. What do they say? Vienna Vienna malt, if that matters to you. And uh, you and then hops from the UK and the states. So if you're really uh, into that kind of stuff, then uh, that's what you got. So let's get her open here. Oh, sounding good. They all kind of sound good like that. So. In the glass. Hmm. That's a nice, uh, there's a little bit of haziness in that, uh, but nice and bright. Carbonation looks okay. The head isn't great. It's not, uh, not very deep, and it does seem to be dissipating fairly quickly. I do see some uh, carbonation bubbles rising up from the bottom. Um, uh, but the head is gone, so but we'll take a look here. Hmm, on the nose that definitely uh, smells fruity. It is a bit of a. Uh, it's it's not bad. It's uh. Yeah, fruity a fruity crispness to it in the smell. Anyway, well we'll give her a taste. Hmm. Hmm. Carbonation is good. It starts off well. It's got kind of a hoppy bitterness in there. And now I'm into the aftertaste, which is that cardboardy stuff you kind of get. Hmm. Yeah, it's not uh it's not resting very well. We'll try it again. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Carbonation and it gets it starts off good, yeah, and then it just coats your mouth with this kind of mm, this bitterness kind of papery. Ah, ah, I don't can't say I like that. The aftertaste is what kind of ruins it. The initial uh, the initial uh, taste is uh, quite good. You're like, oh, this is gonna be good, and it is good up until a point. And now, I mean. It does have aftertaste. We'll get one more. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's quite fruity and uh, there's that aftertaste. It kind of just almost ruins the whole thing. Almost ruins the whole experience. Yeah, you're kind of looking for, mm. there's a bit of a cardboardy moment in there as well. So yeah, you'd be looking for some water. Mm. It's just not, yeah, there's a bit of astringency in there as well. Like my mouth is now dry with this kind of aftertaste in there, which is not, it's not exactly what I was hoping for. Anyway, so yeah, that's, uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's not horrible. You could drink it. In my opinion, uh, there's better ones for sure. Um, like it's, uh, it, it's not enough of a flavor overload, like an IPA where you're like, oh, wow. Uh, it's just it's just a little bit disappointing. That's all. I mean, you could drink this. There's nothing wrong with it. It just has that little bit of aftertaste. And uh, yeah, my mouth is a little dry. So if you kind of want to uh, 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 quench your thirst, this really isn't what I would be reaching for. So anyway, that's what we got. That's uh, Athletic uh, Brewing Co. Athletic Brewing Company Upside Dawn. A uh, bit of a gold nail.
bit of a mess in my opinion, but hey, it's up to you. Uh, if you did like uh, what you see, then uh, please like and subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll be back with the uh, another uh, review in the near future with a whole bunch of other non-alcoholic beers and probably other beverages too. So, all right, thanks a lot. Cheers.